Hey guys, do you know who Charles Bronson is? No. What? Go on and tell them right away. What's the magic word? Please. I'll do it, Charles. I'll do it. Well, suckers, Charles Bronson is the strongest, most dangerous, and merciless criminal of the 20th century. Charles Bronson is a man who spent about 30 years in a solitary confinement. He served in 120 prisons all over Great Britain, kicked the hell out of more than 20 guards, took 11 hostages, and incurred damages of more than half a million bucks. Charles Bronson is a man who bent down the steel bars of the door with his bare hands, punched a bulletproof glass with his fist and always demonstrated almost superhuman strength. Charles Bronson is a writer and artist who has received seven Kessler Trust Awards. Charles Bronson is one of the most contradictory and ambiguous people of the 20th century. And it was Charles Bronson who wrote the book Solitary Fitness. Yeah, give more details here. This book is so motivating that right now, while I'm telling you this, I'm pumping my triceps with this very book. Well, since the biceps sucks and won't come in handy to knock someone out. That's right, because I fought with the most trained and the best that I always won. So the triceps is something different. But why are you using a book and not dumbbells? Because Charles originated this in me. After all, do you need any special socks to run faster? No way! Your body is a machine. Usain Bolt was running barefoot as a child from a cheetah. But he's black. Remember the movie with Van Damme where he kicked on a tree? On a tree, not a punching bag. But that's just a movie. I have a neighbor, an old man. He kicks a 35-pound kettlebell like a soccer ball. But that's bullshit. Well, Charles Bronson has written a whole book about it. But that's... By the way, there is a chapter called The Anal Topic. Come on, Bronson, give us a quote. I always work better when I give a mess of shit. Oh, how he mocks bodybuilders. Bronson constantly writes what kind of suckers they are with all their muscles. Once I wanted to take a shit, so I took a magazine for bodybuilders to read. Well, while I was sitting there, I had a great laugh and then wiped my ass off with this magazine. And no one said a word. Cause I can kick their ass with my left fist only. After all, showing off muscles doesn't mean being able to use them. All this nonsense about protein drinks, pills and diets, it's just nonsense. And the multi-million dollar business, steroids, who the hell needs them? Why? For what purpose? This book is not a training course for bodybuilders. It is written to help you develop the maximum strength while maintaining the maximum mobility and speed. But this book is not so simple. Before reading this masterpiece, you must complete and sign a declaration of commitment. If you don't sign it, you're a sucker. If you sign it and don't do it, you're a sucker who must suck himself off. Uh, what? How do you do that? The whole point is that we ourselves can become champions. There's nothing to prove to anyone. There's no need to compete with the strongest of this world, but to compete with the personality within yourself. Right, you fat bastard? What? I'm not a fat bastard. Yes, you are, fat bastard. Well, okay, yeah, just a bit. So stop being a fat bastard, fat bastard. Okay, I won't be being a fat bastard anymore. The key to power is, first of all, mind and your own heart. If you're a weak person, spiritually, and don't really believe in yourself, then probably you won't be able to develop the maximum power in yourself. In general, it's difficult to call it a book. Jokes about shit and how cool Charles was, eating nothing but prison gruel and kicking cops' asses, and the complex of well-known exercises. Namely, our fitness fanatic has developed several training programs that require nothing but your own body and some items that can be found in any cell. Well, if you haven't done any shit yet for which you could be imprisoned, you can also find them at home or you can easily make them by hand. By the way, thanks to this lifestyle, he acquired almost superhuman strength. According to Bronson, he can do 172 push-ups in a minute single-handedly lift a pool table and bend the bars of a prison cell with his bare hands. Charles has set many prison fitness records. They say that he once did 1,727 push-ups in an hour 
And here are the six basic exercises that bring all muscle groups to work. If you slightly modify each of them, you can come up with as many as 50 additional exercises. Let's go! Push-ups. According to Bronson and his book Solitary Fitness, he does 2,000 push-ups every day. Begin with 10 push-ups daily and add 5 every day. Someday you might catch up with the old man. And now the types of push-ups. Narrow and wide hand position, Indian push-ups, handstand push-ups, and push-ups on one hand. Moving on to pull-ups. Pull-ups work the latissimus dorsi. Well, you might know them by the word wings. As well as biceps, trapezius muscles, pecs, and forearms. Yes, but where can I get a horizontal bar at home? You don't have a horizontal bar? Then go to the bathroom and pull yourself up on a hot water pipe. And don't distract me anymore. So, the types of pull-ups. Reverse grip pull-ups. Mixed grip pull-ups. Commando pull-ups. Narrow and wide grip. Pull-ups with a towel. Typewriter pull-ups. And one-arm pull-ups. Next, we have squats. With just one squat, you simultaneously engage your quads, hamstrings, glutes, pelvic muscles, and inner thighs. Now, the types of squats. Prisoner squats. If it's too easy, add some weight. Yes, but what can I add if I don't have a barbell weight? You're freaking me out! Use your imagination! Any more or less heavy improvised object will do. Even your hefty doggy or a dwarf inmate. Place them on your shoulders or hold them in front of your chest and do regular squats. Next, jump squats, pistol squats and squats with bench press-ups. And remember, you can always complicate the exercise by putting the same dwarf on your knees. Next, hanging leg raises. The exercise is primarily aimed at working with the muscles of the core. The abdominal muscles, oblique abdominal muscles, quads, pelvic muscles, forearms and shoulder joints also work. So, types of leg raises. Raising straight legs. Raising the legs bent at the knees. Full rise of straight legs. Leg raises with a towel, wipers, raising straight legs holding with one hand. Although you're unlikely to succeed, it's worth a try. Well, let's move to an exercise that many fitness babes and those who served in the army hate, burpee. So, the usual burpee. Burpee with push-ups, burpee with Indian push-ups, and burpee with pull-ups. And now for sit-ups. Pump up your abs anytime and anywhere, since not only you will be kicking ass, but you'll also be getting some. So your abs are your armor. Well, that's it. Just mix it up and make up your own set of exercises. Well, if you still don't believe in all this and that Charles Bronson was able to achieve all this, then ask the prison officers, 10,000 prisoners, and Tom Hardy with Nicholas Rathen. They'll definitely confirm this. Well, that's all for today. It was the Tough Brock from Broccoli Academy. And thanks for watching. Well, guys, I didn't think it would be so hard to make the Tough Brock because I almost tore my ligaments. But if the video worked for you, then quickly like it, subscribe, scribble something in the comments and share this video with your weak friends. And go exercise! Well, at least do a dozen push-ups.